Hello, Gethoff. Uh, hello, Biorno. Um, I'd like to welcome you to Ravenholm Village. Uh, it is a barracks-style living arrangement with two fire pits, a kitchen in the back, and also a workshop. Everything that a brand new adventurer might need to start their journey. So was there a reason you picked the name? Um, well, I just felt like that uh, across many cultures, the Ravens has, has signified kind of a, a coming home, uh, a beacon of hope. And um, I, I did note from other building competitions uh, that one of our judges, a, a Mr. Biorno, that, who's sitting here next to me, really likes a good sign. So I, I thought I would drop a sign in there. I do enjoy a good sign. Did you prepare at all for this build? Did you practice? Uh, each and every build competition that comes along, uh, I have a uh, world where I do nothing but practice building. I would say probably eight to 10 hours of practice uh, went in with various iterations of this build. And I feel like it all came together nicely. So it looks like the build was completed during the two hour time limit. Did you have any issues with the plan that you came up with during practice? Um, not essentially. Um, I, I kind of had a general layout in mind. Uh, I had to do a little bit of terrain modifications to make everything sit in a way that I wanted it to sit. I felt like it needed to flow smoothly throughout the property, and I kind of feel like that I achieved that. So what were your motivations for the build? Um, just to create a space where uh, new players would have everything they needed to uh, kind of begin their adventure in Valheim. So was this inspired by any real life buildings? Um, I kind of took a little bit from what I feel like uh, the Asians w would do with, with their build with the pagodas and uh, tried to pay a little bit of an homage to all of the various build pieces available to us nowadays in Valheim and uh, tried to make it feel very homey and where someone would feel connected to, to coming home to this place. So this isn't the first vanilla only, and it won't be the last vanilla only. The next one for August is Portal Hub. Are you planning to participate, and what is your practice looking like? Uh, yeah, I do plan to participate, and I've had two or three different iterations of a Portal Hub that I may do. Um, you're definitely going to see the, some of the Asian influence theme in it. Um, and I'm definitely going to try to pay homage to, uh, again, to all of the materials that are available to us. Now, of course, I can't put every material from every biome update in there. Some of that, in my estimation, would just look silly together. And so you, you kind of have to pick and choose, and I think I've done that. I'm going to be happy with it, and all I can say for my competitors, if you don't bring your A-plus game, you might as well stay home. 
So that concludes my interview with Gatoth. Thank you, Gatoth, for sitting with me today. Oh, you're, you're most welcome, Bjorna, and thank you for the opportunity to uh, showcase my build and to showcase what it is, or some of what it is, that we do here at Planeswalkers. Um, if you're seeing this video and you've never watched one of our build competitions, I invite you to tune in to our Twitch channel tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be... Uh, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, so whatever that means for you, and uh, we we will welcome you with open arms to uh, a Planeswalkers build competition. Should be exciting, and the competition should be fierce. You guys heard that. Make sure you guys tune in to Battle Portal Hub coming tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern. Until next time. Right.